welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. I'm out camping right now, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to go over, how many pages do I have? I got four pages of the Nature Grimoire prompts. Anyway, I have 40 of them, so I do have to read off my page here, so I'm not going to have them all memorized by heart. But they're pretty cool, and I'm pretty proud of this list. So I would love to share with you. So 40 Grimoire art journaling prompts for you. You can use it as an art journal or Grimoire. And these will be included in my 27 page download. I will, I might do these separate, but I'm gonna list them off anyway, and you can take notes or you can get the 27 page download of the Nature Grimoire prompts and you can find that on my my Patreon if you're a Patreon member from the Grimoire and the Coven Witch tier you will get this the 27 page download and the 40 Grimoire prompts and you can also get it on my Etsy store and if you would like to save 15% off on my Etsy store type in the coupon SAVE15 and that'll uh, give you a little 50% off and help you out with that there. And then you instantly be able to download it. It's super cool that way. So, going back to our 40 Nature Grimoire prompts. Number one, seasonal observations. So you can create a page for each season and document using observations, using nature, crafts, sketches, photographs, paintings, anything you'd like. Um, of anything from plants, animals, landscapes that are characteristics of each season in your area. Number two, plant and herbal correspondences. Plant profiling, of course. Dedicate pages to the herbs and their magical medicinal properties. Include illustrations of the plant. You can include photographs. You can do a digital. For those of you that are seen impaired, you may not want to be able to draw or can't so maybe if you'd like to just get some photographs of the picture take your own photographs or maybe you can download images and put that in your book as well you could also include uh, information it's associations it's correspondences such as deities planets zodiac affiliations to uh, magical and medicinal uses you can include in it uh, you could also include folk folklore of the plant as well. Now, tree wisdom. This one's really, really cool. One or as many as you want. Maybe one that you're affiliated with or something that you resonate with. Um, or just the trees in your area. You could do the sacred odom as well. When uh, you choose each tree, hold space on it. Meditate with it. Take a page and think about the odom rune or the tree meaning and just take a moment before creating your page see what wisdom it creates gives you hey sweetheart thanks for coming back um you're going to choose the tree symbolism folklore spiritual significance as many other personal experiences that you may have had with that tree now lunar phases you want to chill with me for a little bit you're taking off a little too far here on the beach by yourself Lunar phases. Create a lunar calendar. In your grimoire, to track the phases of the moon throughout the year. Use space to reflect the energy of each lunar phase and how it influences your magical practice. You could also include the names of the moon, the seasons of the moon, um, which you can do moon eclipses, you can do full moons as well as new moons. Of course, all the phases. Yes, sorry, what I'm saying is uh, bring in the super moons as well as the blue moons to get some different meanings for a few different phases. Now number five, animal totems. Explore the concept of animal totems and create pages dedicated to different animals that hold significance to you. Include information about the animal symbolism, anything from messages to things that may come through, connections, maybe encounters that you've had with the animals. Do some shadow work with the animals too. That would be really, really cool. We got a video coming up with that with Starlight, the Wild Witch, the shadow work with animals. Wait for that one. That is gonna be really, really cool. Now another one here is number six, sacred landscapes. Reflect on places in nature that hold special meaning for you, such as in forest, mountains, 
uh, bodies of water, create pages to capture the essence of these landscapes through poetry, art, written documents, drawings, paintings, sketches, again photographs if you don't like drawing or painting. Nature Mandela is one of my favorite, I love doing that. Use natural materials such as leaves, flowers, twigs, bark, stone, moss and, and forest. Photograph of it, gift it to your forest and print out a copy of your gift and you can put that in your grimoire. Uh, you may also make a mandel in your book out of dried flowers and leaves and anything that you like you can do flat. So you can dry the flowers and leaves in a book and it'll come out and it'll be perfectly flat for you to modge podge down and make a mandel in your book too. Number eight, elemental reflections. Explore the four elements, earth, air, fire, water, and the presence in the natural world. Yeah. Create pages dedicated to each element, incorporated images, symbols, and reflections significance to their practice. Oh, number nine, nature gratitude journaling. So good to do. Gifts to the forest, my friend. Dedicate a section in your, of your grammar to gratitude journaling where you can reflect the beauty of abundance and natural world. Use your sprays of gratitude gifts in nature to see how they enrich your life. Violet, come here. Are you cold? Come here, little buddy. Come here. She's just shivering. Come here, little buddy. Come here. You can do it. You're on the rocks. Oh, she's just shivering down by the water. gonna be all right little buddy we're almost done here we're just not really almost done but you can chill with me mm. all right oh she's just shivering oh goodness ah okay so in nature gratitude journaling you can reflect on the beauty and abundance of the natural world use space to reflect gratitude and gifts of nature and how they enriched your life Number 10, listen to nature's symphony. Listen to the water right now in this video. During a thunderstorm or peaceful evening, pay attention to the surrounds around you. Describe how it hears, how it affects the environment around you. Number 11, study a natural object such as a leaf, rock, flower. Describe its shape, color, texture, and any patterns you may notice, especially sacred geometry in the patterns of nature is abundant. It is so cool. Number 12, reflections on the lake. Ooh, visit a serene lake or pond and water. It is still a day or night. Take the time to look at all reflections. Nighttime, seek out the moon's reflection. This morning I was collecting water and the morning uh, I got up early at the sunrise and I collected sunrise reflected water as well. Uh, you can also do that and you can correct, collect water in the moonlit water. That's some powerful medicine. In the body of water, write down your thoughts and the way the light interacts with the surface and surrounding your environment. You can also collect what water like I did and paint with it, draw with it, use that water in your grimoire. After a thunderstorm, I love collecting water and then painting with it later. Man, that's charged up. Charged up, my friends. Uh, number 13, nature-inspired poetry. Write a poem inspired by a sunset, a blooming flower, and any aspect of nature that captures your heart. Number 14, a fictional story. Choose an element of nature such as a fallen branch or weathered stone or create a story around that. The fiction or non-fiction about its journey, the nature's hidden treasures, search and interesting peculiar items in nature such as unusual rocks or oddly shaped branches or a sketch and you can sketch and photograph them include them in your grimoire you can write down a memory number 15 think back to a memorable experience in nature and rewrite the story of a twist form in a different perspective create a sound map slow down and listen to the sound of the nature a sound map would be, oh, that's supposed to be number 16. Uh, let's see here. Slow down and create and listen to the sounds of nature. While you can certainly describe the sounds in the world around your nature journey, also consider creating a sound map. 
one of my favorite things to do is something new that I just discovered recently. And I think it's so cool because you discover the words around you. Um, it will really challenge you to represent what you hear, tapping into a deeper creative side. Write poetry about it. What did you hear? And we have Plant Lore, number 16. I have two number 16s. I may have actually had 41 because I missed one highlighting one. Oh shit, weird. Oh, I have 40. Oh, Violet's just shivering. Plant lore. Document properties and uses of the different plants in your area, including folklore associations with the different plants. I love folklore and plants. It's so cool to hear about the different things. Number 17, sacred landscapes. Explore natural sites in your area, such as forests, mountains, caves, and describe the energy and the significance of these places. Share any offerings, rituals, or ceremonies while you perform there. Weather magic. Discuss the relationship between weather patterns and magic, number 18. Write about the weather divination technique, store magic, and ways to harness the energy and elements in your spell work. Celestial observations, number 19. This is my daughter's favorite. Observe the movement of the stars and planets in the night sky. Document any celestial events you witness in meteor showers, comets, eclipses, and planetary alignments and explore their magical significance. Number 20, elemental rituals. We're getting chilly out here. Uh, ooh, it's getting chilly with the wind. I know you're shivering. Elemental rituals, develop rituals and ceremonies to honor the elements in nature. Write about ways to connect with earth, air, fire, water through meditation, visualizations of ritual practices. Number 21, nature, uh, spirits, and deities. Ooh, I like this one. I forgot about this one. Explore the presence of nature, spirits, and deities in your environment. Write about your experience of wood uh, nymphs, forests, fairies, tree nymphs. Don't forget water nixies and other nature beings. Share their stories and the myths associated with them. Number 22, we have sacred grove meditation. Oh, I have grove, I've collected dirt from a sacred grove before where a lot of ritualists and circles have been held. Uh, you can use that dirt in your grimoire too. Mix it with some Mod Podge and paint some dirt in your grimoire from special sacred places. Describe a ritual connecting the sacred grove or natural sanctuary. Record your meditative experiences and the energies encountered of any of the guidance received in the spirit lab. I'm hurrying. 23. Animal allies. Explore spiritual significance in nature's and animals in nature. Document encounters animal guides and their symbolic meanings and how they can aid in magical workings and personal growth. Oh, she's cold. Oh, it's your cold. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Divination with nature. So cool to do. Experiment with divination techniques such as using natural elements such as stone, leaves, clouds, water, plants, birds, feathers. Um, Oh, sticks and stones too. I said stones, but sticks as well. Develop your own methods interpreting signs and omens in the natural world. Number 25, lunar gardening. Explore the practice of gardening according to the phases of the moon. Document plants, pruning, harvesting techniques in align with this lunar cycle. Optimal growing for magical potency. And number 26, sun follower gardening. Explore and experiment the flowers that follow with each day and opens up the sunrise to each morning. Close that sunrise in the evening and write down observations and the cycles in the sun with each flower. Number 27, dreamscapes. Create a dreamlike landscape inspired by your experience in your nature imagination. Use watercolors, collages, mixed medias, 
depict beautiful scenes and filled with flowers. Get out of here. With trees, mountains, rivers, celestial bodies, you name it. Oh, Black Flower Garden. Ooh, that'd be a cool one to Grimoire with too. Experiment with rare black flowers in your garden. Most only will blossom once throughout the year due to energetic or genetic enhancements. Energetic. Genetic enhancements to achieve black flowers. A lot of times they only last for that one season as well. Explore correspondences that relate with black flowers such as deities, elements, and interactions. Water collecting. I did some of that this morning. Document your water collecting. Storm water, rain water, electrical storm, charge your energy, snow water, moon water, sun water, rain water. Write down this different magical uses of each type of water you can come across. Number 30, herbal remedies and recipes. Explore the healing properties of herbs, plants, documenting herbal remedies such as salve, soaps, creams, tinctures, and recipes. Include step-by-step -step instructions and ingredient list and personal antidotes of how these remedies have benefited you. All right, we're almost done. I'm gonna hang on. Just hanging in there. Number 31, foraging adventures. Some of my favorite things to do. Share your foraging adventures and discoveries in your grimoire. Document plants, trees, and herbs and mushrooms you find in the wild, along with tips and ethical foraging practices and safety precautions. The poison path. Carefully research and explore this poison path. You may choose mild, deadly correspondences for your poison path adventure. Document safety precautions, safe collection and storage. Because some of them just a touch can poison you. Even touch a flower can poison you. Monkshood. Tea witchcraft. Explore recipes on how to prepare magical brews, step-by-step -step instructions, ingredients lists, and personal antidotes how these magical teas have benefited you. Stone circles. Yes. Create your own map or design at home in your garden. Or in your garden, you can meditate a sacred place to visit, walk around in a maze. Draw, paint, or collage your stone garden in your grimoire. You can design it in your grimoire, then you can lay it out and play it out in your garden. Mushroom mysteries. Devolve into the fascinating world of mushrooms, from edible, poisonous, and medical species to the weird and wonderful varieties found in nature. Creating pages and celebrate diversity in fungi and explore their ecological roles and cultural significance. I love mushroom mysteries. Number 36, nature-inspired art projects. Experiment with nature-inspired art projects using plant dyes, leaf rubbings, eco-printing, mushroom spore prints. Document your creative process and results of your experiments in your grimoire. Garden planning and design. Use your grimoire to plan and design your garden space, such as a pentacle garden, or a small indoor herb garden, or a large outdoor permaculture plot. Sketch and lay out your plans and compare your planting strategies and plots and harmonious, productive garden ecosystem. Plants and spirit communication. Reflect your experience in communicating of plants, spirits, trees, and fungi. Write about any messages or insights you receive during meditation, journeying, or simply spending time in nature. Illustrate these encounters in your grimoire. And we have... The last one should be 40, but it's 39. Sun follower garden. Choose flowers open up and close to the sunrise or choose flowers that heads to follow in the day's sun. 40 grimoire nature art journaling prompts for you. This, like I said, this will be included in my 27 page down. Heck, you know what? I'll just print off. I'll just make a four page download that you can get on my Patreon or my Etsy store. I'll just, then you don't have to get the 27 page if you don't want to. So you can just get some ideas off of this one too. Well, thanks so much for chilling out with me today. We're a little chilly right now. <laughs> it's early in the morning. But thanks for hanging out with us today and we'll see you in the next video.